Hey guys, I'm gonna vlog. It's been a long time since I vlogged. John and I are heading to Jacksonville for the Presence Summit Conference and then uh, speaking at a church in Fernandina Beach. Fernandina Beach. Yeah. Living Waters Outreach Center. Looks like we're gonna hit a bit of a storm on the way. So the rain has begun and we stop for gas. I was thinking today about Psalm 46. The scripture says, God is our refuge and strength, our very present help in time of trouble. Present help. His help is his presence. David says elsewhere that he praises God for the help of his presence. And it says in the, the scriptures that the uh, uh, the Lord the Lord guided the children of Israel. I think it's in Isaiah, and it says the angel of his presence. It might be Isaiah sixty three, but the angel of his presence. This is our blessing of the new covenant. His presence. You like a water? Uh, no, I'm good. Are you sure? Yeah. on your mind, bro. Tell me. Oh. I like in Florida when it rains even though the sun is out. It's like a perfect example of uh, joy and suffering. It is now cleared up and we have a nice open road. I was just telling John that uh, Jonathan Edwards wrote, Christ has carried our griefs and bore our sorrows that we might feed upon, sweetly feed upon the comforts that he has purchased for us sweetly feed upon the comforts that he has purchased for us. John, what does that make you think of? Um, it makes me think of rest and the, the joy in being liberated from dead works, from a hamster wheel of dead works, so that I may serve and be fruitful unto the Lord by feeding upon the Lord. What was that quote by Tozer? God alone could do it. Oh yeah, speaking of the atonement, he says yeah, that uh, Christ alone could do it, so he did it all alone. <laughs> Christ, <laughs> Christ alone could do it, so he did it all alone. We'll keep you guys updated. Still heading to Jacksonville. So we made it here to Jacksonville. We're gonna grab a bite to eat and then head over to the hotel. Who's this guy? Hey. 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 <laughs> hey. How are you? Good, man. How's the drive? Yeah. Yeah? Hey, Eric, I don't know if you're going to see this. Oh, yeah. He's coming. But <laughs> you saw this. We just finished dinner. It was great. Getting ready for the conference tomorrow. It's good. We talked a little bit about revival, how revival is the reviver in our midst. That's the key. A baby, baby, baby. I'll give you glory, the glory you deserve. I lift my voice. So here at the hotel, super tired, but I was thinking tonight about what I feel God has been teaching me in my own personal life. 
He's teaching me to love and appreciate the inward bleeding that happens when our own way is relinquished. The bleeding is the pain of what you want being let go. The human ego, the self-life, the self-centered way of man is to be glued to his own way, the resolute adherence to his own way. But with Christ, we see the more we're able to give up our way and live giving up our way, the more the resurrection life of Christ, his character, his nature, his empowerment, his joys, sweet love exchange with him are experienced. So I just want to encourage you with my meditation today that I've been thinking, look for ways to give up your own way. Because in this, you and I will be infused with resurrection life. The resurrection life of Christ emerges as we let go of our own way. Uh, I feel like in my own life, there's been many times where unnecessary friction was in my life because of retracting from this giving up of myself to God and to others. Not realizing that I was forfeiting the blissful enjoyment of God's presence and the supernatural empowerment and life and grace that comes by death. Uh, you say, Eric, but how can it be bliss and pain at the same time? It is literally the end of self that is the beginning of God. And though it may physically, or I shall say, and though it may not be pleasant in our inner self, it only hurts us to the degree that we're still alive. And the more that we're able to give this up, the more we pass into a higher enjoyment that has nothing to do with things going our way, a higher enjoyment that has to do with him who is above us and him who is wanting to share with us joys that are not contingent upon this life and happenings and comforts. We can experience the, the world to come by this, uh, this picking up of our cross and following him into the loss of self and experiencing the infusion of resurrection life. This is life in the spirit. I encourage you, no matter how many miracles we work, no matter how many sermons we preach, no matter how people think we're great, if we fail here in this giving up of ourselves, our own way for God, His way, and others, we are not yet spiritual. Blessings to you. I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. And then tomorrow we'll start the, the conference. God bless you.